Welcome to Ride Headquarters Breaking News, Episode 2. I'm Patria Vandermark, bringing you news that is relevant to what's going on at Ride Headquarters in the general Boston area and some cool product information. Whatever we find that we think is cool for you to hear, we're bringing to you weekly via this short segment. We begin this week by congratulating Kelly Catali on being selected by USA Cycling to represent the United States at the Mountain Bike Marathon World Championships race. This is happening in Elba on October 2nd. Kelly Catali is Seven Cycles sponsored mountain bike racer. She races this Kelcat SL, which is a Seven Cycles dual suspension mountain bike. She also races this Kel Country, which is the equivalent of the Hightail model that Seven Cycles offers. Kelly took 15th this past weekend in France, where she was competing at a UCI mountain bike marathon race. If you're unfamiliar with marathon mountain bike racing, the distances of these kinds of races are much longer than in cross country mountain bike races. In the world championship race, the women will have an 80 kilometer course, which is just shy of 50 miles. That's very hard racing. It's very difficult on the body and it really pushes riders to their limits. We wish Kelly the very best as she prepares to take on the world championship race. Join us this Sunday, September 19th, for the last Trail Mix Gravel event ride of the season. Registration ends this Friday at midnight, so be sure to get registered. You get to look forward to supported rest stop or stops, depending on the distance you choose. And after the ride, you'll get food from the Red Apple Farm barbecue and apple cider donuts, apple cider. The Red Apple Farm also has a brew barn that offers beer if you'd like to buy one or more after the ride. We've been hosting the full moon ride ever since we opened Ride Headquarters. Our next full moon ride is happening in Belmont Center this upcoming Tuesday, September 21st. We're doing it on Tuesday because we'd love for anyone who's doing trail mix on Sunday to have a day to recover. Tuesday night would be better. And I say all that because the full moon is happening on Monday, but our ride is happening Tuesday. The route is 16 miles long. A 28 to 40 millimeter tire is most appropriate. Would suggest a little on the bigger side. There are a few rough sections. There's a lot of smooth dirt. There is quite a bit of dirt on the route. The ride starts at 7, 7 p.m. start time. At that time of night, we don't have much traffic at all. And you're going to get to see areas like Arlington, Belmont, and Medford from a different perspective. So come join us. RSVPs are required to join. This is a no-drop ride. Be prepared for a moderate pace if you are able to keep up a 15 mile per hour average on a road bike, on a road ride, you will be fine on this ride. If you bring your mountain bike, you might be a little on the slow side. Details will be emailed to everyone who sends an RSVP Monday evening at 5 p.m. So please RSVP, you'll get details as to where to park and you'll also receive the route. We really hope you are able to join us. Also remember, any ride that starts at 7 p.m. requires lights, both front and rear. After the ride, like we've always done after, well, usually, after rides in Lexington in the evening, we've gone to Rinkatories. Well, there is a Rinkatories in Belmont Center, which will enjoy some yummy ice cream together and have some fun social time together. Belmont has a lot of tables and chairs outside, so it's a really easy place to spend time after hours together after the ride's over. We will see you Tuesday night, but remember, please RSVP. It's sunset at Miriam's Corner in Concord, and we were here in order to do office hours, which you're finding on our website. That's www.rideheadquarters.com. So you're doing a great job of finding out our schedule there and meeting up with us in the various towns that we're visiting. This is such a new way of working. We know it's going to take a little while for everyone to get into this mode of work. 
closer to you now than we ever have been before. Just in this past week since we've made our van announcement and updated the website, we've seen you in Wellesley, Arlington, Concord, Milton, Newton. Um, we found some really neat parks where it's easy to park the van, where we're finding cell phone reception, with places where it's comfortable to be able to be out and about with uh, while we're spending time here, while we're chatting with you, while we're getting bikes ready for you to demo ride, discussing your cycling with you. Um, and we're also seeing you for bike deliveries. We've been doing quite a few bike deliveries. This is an Axiom SL disc road bike. It has clearance both front and rear for up to 40 millimeter tires. So when the rider wants to swap tires and do more gravel on the bike, he could do that. This has Shimano Di2 electronic shifting. It's a full titanium frame, carbon fork, and is geared for lots of hills and the area around here where it's not quite so hilly. Industry 9 wheels are a per perfect complement to this road bike. We also delivered this Mobius SL. This is a dual suspension mountain bike. Looks very similar to Kelly Catali's bike that she races. So you see a lot of similarities. It's a custom design for the rider, so it's a perfect fit. And being titanium, it's very light, very nimble. And because it was designed for this rider, her weight is properly balanced between the two wheels, allowing the bike to handle exceptionally well. Note the Industry 9 custom wheels and custom decals on the bike. Well, here we are at Robbins Farm Park in Arlington. This is close to the water tower. Many of you do hill repeats up and down this hill. It's steep. <laughs> I'm not doing hill repeats today. I'm watching others do it. There's a lot of cyclists who live right here. You know who you are. It's nice to see you if I've seen you in the last couple days. I'm here with my fat bike. This is summer mode for the fat bike. I've been doing a lot of fat biking in the summer and four seasons because the bike is so perfect for all four seasons. I ride it as a mountain bike on mountain bike trails. I ride it on the road with these slicks. It's so smooth cannot possibly imagine how smooth and fun it is to ride like this. And these tires work really well on the trails too. But what's cool about a fat bike is you can do so much with it. It has so many modes and it's the type of bike that grows with you as your cycling changes and evolves. It can just do whatever it is that you want. This bike is designed to accommodate 27.5 plus wheels and tires. So in other words, 27.5 wheels with three inch tires or this fat setup. These tires, I believe are 4.5 inch uh, by uh, and 26 inch wheels. And then in the winter, it always gets the 45 North Rathchild XL studded tires, which if you're gonna fat bike in the winter in New England, studs are a must. Those tires are the best. You can ride so many things I feel like I ride many more things in the winter with those tires than I can ride in the summer or spring because I've got so much confidence in those tires. Mark your calendars for Saturday, October 16th. We are hosting a fat bike event that takes in beaches and trails. It's on the eastern edge of our state in Massachusetts. It won't be more than an hour drive from Boston, probably less, but this will be an event perfect for fat bikes. This is the time of year when the beaches are open to riding bikes. It, fat tires are nearly a must on sandy beaches. Start getting ready for that. November, December, January, and February, we have fat bike events coming up also. So if you're worried about missing out on this first one because you don't have a fat bike, there's time to get a bike on order from us. We'll outfit it. We've got wheels already. We've got tires either in our hands or on the way. We've got some cool GX axis. Uh, not having wires is really cool. It's one less thing to freeze in the winter time. We've got a lot of those on the way. Uh, many options for getting a fat bike together for this winter, despite supply chain challenges. Another fat bike event that we wanted to mention to you is February 27th at Mount Washington. There is a, a snowshoe, ski, and 
fat bike event, your registration fee gets you a day pass on the trails in that area. So you can do the race and then go ride the trails and just have a great day of fat biking in an area that you wouldn't fat bike otherwise. The Mount Washington fat bike ride is an example of a ride that I'm interested in doing. How about you? What rides are you training for and preparing for and looking forward to? Let us know in the comments below if you're listening to this on YouTube. If you're not, find our YouTube channel and subscribe so you have the latest news as soon as it comes out. With that, we wish you a really fun weekend of bike riding and having a really good time. We'll see you next week for more breaking news.